And uh, there you have it on your screen there, the Berries Farm. We're coming to you from Amajuba Berries Farm. That is uh, what a berries tree looks like. That's where you get your berries from. And uh, we welcome you back. The New Age SABC 2 Morning Live broadcast coming to you from Amajuba Berries Farm, Charleston, just here in Guazulu Natal. Umnoto, Usem Sabatin. My guest today, the minister himself, Babu Zawana, the premier of KwaZulu Natal, and the deputy minister in the Department of Agriculture, uh, Forestry and Fisheries, Ubabo Utrele, and the MEC here in KwaZulu Natal, Babu Minister, welcome back. Let's talk about something which um, is, is, is quite sensitive black farmers. How are you ensuring that they participate in this fight, or rather in this uh, struggle to ensure food security in the country? And perhaps also bearing in mind that, um, you know, whenever people talk of uh, black farmers, they say emerging, and they cannot emerge forever. Thank you. I, I agree with you. Being a smallholder farmer is not taken as a title should be taken as a phase, how short the phase should be, is informed by a, num a number of, 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 of issues. We do make funding to assist our farmers through cast. We do make funding to assist our, our rural people that they can produce their food through Fetzatal and Elim. We do have other financial vehicles at our disposal. What we need to make sure is to ensure that farmers are part of the, of the agenda to address their issues. We have been engaging with, with, with commercial farmers to say, your future is holding the hand of that farmer who is emerging. Don't take him as a computer, take him as also as a person you have to work with, work with. because our, our, our black farmers, unfortunately, don't have the advantage that white farmers are, have, that they have grown in a farm, they have known what farming is. Even those who have been to issues of thrift training, sometimes they have no access to to, to, to have an experience of what is to be a farm. What is our program? With the Department of, of Rural Development, we have said, let's create future farmers out of graduates who have come through our training institutions. Let's make sure that land is made available, finances are made available. Let's account for every rent that is put up to make sure that farming succeeds. We can succeed alone as national. For Kata is a concurrent function. There has to be work that is done by the provinces and municipalities. What we need is to work together to get the private sector to invest also in agriculture. But I can assure you, there are black farmers who have succeeded, who are competing equally. But the east of markets is another challenge. Where do they sell? Okay. We have just signed an agreement with Tiger Brands, MOU, that they must buy from our own black farmers. We have been trying to open up markets. We have agreed that they are going to build 44 agro-processing so agri parks so that what you plow does not only end or you are, uh, are forever in the in the primary agriculture we want to make sure that you realize your value chain mm -hmm. if you are, you are producing maize you must be able to 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 to, to, to mill it so that you are going to be part of the farming okay. there's a future but of course finances is a challenge but department must work together we have to make sure that through I mean, science and technology, we can be able to mitigate the challenges of climate change. So we can work without that department working with us. That's so a, there are challenges, but I can assure you, we can see the light. Young women and, and young men have a role to play, but also the already existing farmers should be assisted. But must be able to say, when does the farmer become to be assisted? And how do we make sure that he can stand on his own? Okay. Deputy Minister, would I be right to say this sector has not transformed? You, you are right. We, we, we've got a very bad tendency as human beings of forgetting history. Mm -hmm. uh, we are dealing with the agriculture as if we have just woken up yesterday and everybody must run. Remember more. This has been a very secluded kind of sector, historically, educationally, structural. 
So we will have to change some few structures for it to begin to work. One, as the minister talking, is a funding. Most of the farmers that are there and existing, they were funded by the government. We can't run away. Maybe the decision has to take him not to fund will have to be reviewed, mm -hmm. especially at the entry level, the young African new farmers. I want to emphasize the point, young African, because it has been a taboo for them to go to farms as owners, but all the time as workers. Mm -hmm. Secondly, it will have to be a social mobilization to say to the African people, especially the young ones, this is the way, this is the growth in, term of, in terms of economy, but also feeding yourself. Because we have always thought that that does not belong to us. Mm -hmm. But there are a few things that will have to be happening. Funding is one of them. But then get markets for them. They should not produce a food that will, will get rotten because they don't know where to sell it. They don't know. They don't have anybody buying from them because markets are saturated. Markets at the present moment, they've got their own owners and which are cartels, which are blocked and, 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 all, and all that that we need to correct. So if you, if, if you talk about transformation, uh, it, it, it's unfortunately sometimes resisted. I was speaking to the uh, student at the college in Cape Town, in Western Cape, where there was a problem. They tell the story that when they're invited by the farmers to do practicals in the farm, yes. the African students are given the job of taking dead leaves from point A to point B. When the white students are given the opportunity to do the actual planting and actual farming in the farm, even at that level, you realize that there are still problems, even at that level. So, they, they teach them in Africans so that they don't understand. Hence, there was, so government must come close and we must, we must admit there are steps going forward, but much to be done. Let me have to say before, there are those on the established farming community who have seen the light, who is carrying our people going forward, but many more hasn't seen the light and they really need to be pulled or to be pushed. Well, there you have it. Those are the realities that uh, farmers are facing in South Africa. I want us to go to uh, table five there and talk to Spesile Vazi. Spesile is from Gushle Gwonge Investments and um, is the managing director, South Africa. Uh, Spesile, um, Yes, uh, a young man who doesn't look like a farmer. Sanuna? <laughs> yep. Oh, okay. Sanuna uh, Mbubaf. Yeah. This thing's not on. It, it is. Uh, my question is directed to Ubaba Uchangal Tal. Baba, uh, I think Moba Beskesa Seven Sana Futi Kakulu in a department. Mine is to ask that uh, what is being done to expedite all young uh, or youth related agricultural projects because there seems to be a delay or a backlog, especially when you start entering uh, the market and the funding part of it. At, at the commercial uh, level, it's difficult for young blacks to, to enter that space simply because. Imali is not enough, and now you're talking huge amounts of money. Is uh, our Kulum Imali in my name? Can go 400,000. No, when you want to enter into the commercial scale or <laughs> market, that's when now you start speaking about Imali and gold. But now it's difficult for Abandabasha to now enter that space simply because the market I will leg. So moving forward, Baba Ben Sakalu, what is been done now? Um, let me just remind you that uh. Uma ufunu buzu mbuzu wako nge sizu luka na nkinga ufumelegile sizu wazu kuti siksize eh, noma lupu limu ulu kurumai ndos finally has decided to ask this question in public 
<laughs> he has been privately asking this question all the time. It is what I, 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 I alluded to, to say is an expensive area to come in. Uh, uh, I want to remind ourselves that the minister and the ministry and the department, we are working on restructuring the financing methodologies. With the present structure, we can't go very far. They have been in the office time and again, not only them, the queue of young people like themselves. Initially, we were very scared Paul, to say, young people, will they come? They are coming in droves, we are failing to serve them in the government. Let me sit here and accept that. Mm. Hence, we need to change the structure that people, young like them, if they come, they must be assisted with the startup uh, to expose them to the one to get in Picari. They've got the farm themselves, uh, they, they've got the infrastructure, but they need money to continue to do that. So, at the moment, the, the Deputy Minister of Rural Development and myself were trying to handle their matter. Because infrastructure, farming infrastructure, is more on the rural development than, than, the, than the agriculture. So we're handling that matter. He asked the second question. What do we do when then we have produced pigs and pork? Where does it go? It's one thing that the minister was talking about, that we have spoken to some markets in South Africa, especially Tiger Brand. Tiger Brand, last time I did with them, they need 3,000 pigs a week. 3,000 pigs a week. So, which means uh, we, we, we are not very much backward when it comes to the market. We can find the market, but the starter is so. It's not only them. And uh, we, we need to work on that and work fast. Uh, the, uh, somewhere in 1960s, in Pope, uh, there were 160,000 individual farmers in South Africa. There are 37,000 only today. Only 37,000. Most would have been white. So this space that is opening should be filled by people like themselves. And the government must do more to make sure that that happens because it's a very expensive terrain to start. Without government, a change of structure, of funding, uh, we're, not going to, we're not going to help much. Thank you very much, uh, Deputy Minister. Let's go to table 20. Um, Zama Sibiya um, is sitting somewhere there. If Uzama could just uh, stand up and uh, uh, if we could get a microphone uh, through to, to Zama there. Um, Zama is from Ipemba Poultry Farm. She's a general manager there. <laughs> I'm so far. department. But what is the department's vision for young black poultry farmers um, and the plans for them to produce commercially and successfully? One of the inhibiting problems for, for, for the poultry industry is the issue of import, input costs. Currently, 34% of what we consume is from outside the country. And soya beans formed 70% of what goes to your, your, your feed. We have now come to say this, that we must look at promoting the production or the planting of soya beans. But more than that, get rid of, of economic development to make sure that we build more crushing plants. There's one already built in, in Pumalanga. It was built everything that is when you when when you are, when you start to do poultry, we must make sure that again we open up markets. Already there are discussions with other countries. While we receive from America some of their tonnage of, of, of what they don't consume. There's a there's a scope and room for us to, to go through Africa. But ease of mentorship is also key to get people mentored so that when you are trained in a, in an institution, when you leave you don't live with theory, you live knowing very well. There is a program, I can assure you very soon, we'll be outlaying it. But without producing more soya beans, you still struggle to feed your, 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 your chicks. But it is a, a, an area I think we need to go deep into. So we're engaging to make sure that people who are in, in, in that industry, 
really are able to produce for the country and for other markets. Thank you very much, Minister. Now I want us to take a quick break. Remember that we're coming to you live from Amachuba Berries Farm in Charlestown, Charlestown, Sizur. I want to take a quick break. When we return, we'll continue with this broadcast. Lambi. <laughs> Lambi. <laughs> <laughs>